Hi, Sariana Van Asse here with another art journaling tutorial for stencil art. I made use of a variety of products in this tutorial that will be listed at the end of the video and is available at www.stencilart.co.za. Apply Liquitex Clear Gesso with a paintbrush through the Starflower stencil. As always, I will let each layer dry either with the heat tool or let it stand for a while before adding any new layer of medium on top. Use the mini ink blending tool to apply distress inks in a circular motion to the page. I used festive berries, seedless preserves, ripe persimmon, mustard seed and picked raspberry. Distress inks will always reactivate with liquid, so I will seal this layer with gel medium so that I can add more layers of wet mediums on top. Dab some pearly acrylic paint with a mini ink blending tool through the Butterflies 1 stencil to add just a faint pearly shimmer of flying butterflies to the background. Cut a piece of Maltex large enough so that the butterfly from the Butterflies 3 stencil will fit in and stick it down to the craft sheet with some masking tape. Color the piece of Maltex with Lindy Stamp Gang sprays and set aside to dry. I use Starburst Bonsesha Red Gold, Jazz Ajavan Purple and Moon Shadow Smoky Sapphire. I always clean my stencils and excess paints and inks in my local telephone directory. I just love using this tissue paper for collage. Choose some of the papers and draw flowers and leaves with a flower mix stencil with a white sharpie paint marker. I designed this stencil specifically with doodling in mind. Then continue to cut out all the shapes. Draw the butterfly with a gold pen on the coloured Maltex and cut it out. The Maltex kept on curling so I scrunch it up so that it can lay flat. I moved my collage elements around until I was satisfied with the placement and interiored it with Multimedia Matte by Ranger.
The red butterfly was standing out too much, so I painted it with acrylic metallic paint in gold by Heritage to give it a more of an orangey colour. This metallic paint is translucent, so the bottom layers of colours will show through. I adhered the butterfly's three stencil with masking tape to the page and used the dot small stencil to add texture with distressed paint dabbers in mustard seed, spiced marmalade and barn door. Again drying in between each addition of colour. Then add some dots of mode lawn distress paint to the bottom of the page. Use a Zek two-way glue pen to add details to the butterfly. While I wait for the glue to turn from blue to clear, one sticky, I draw the stems with a green olive big brush pen and add the leaves with multi-medium. Gently adhere the craft foil with a paintbrush or your fingers to the butterfly. The foil will adhere to the glue. You'll see that I waited too long and the glue started drying. Use the glue and foil to add antennas to the butterfly. Mark out the lines for the quote and write a rough outline for the words with a pencil. Once I was happy with the layout of the words, I went over the outlines with a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Brush Pen and filled it in with a black big brush pen. Use your white sharpie paint pen and black pit artist pens to add details, outlines and doodles to the butterfly, flowers and leaves. Use the flower mix stencil as necessary.
Add vines and tiny leaves to the words with a green olive big brush pen and outline the words with a white sharpie paint pen. Doodle a border around the page and then add tiny flowers to the words with a deep scarlet, red big brush pen. Lastly, shade around the butterfly, flowers and leaves with big brush pens in red, green and yellow. Finally, I always finish off my page with a date stamp. 